shit, it's in the Hey everybody, welcome to the Big Llama Show. I'm the Big Llama. Guys, thank you guys so much for joining us. We're doing a TV reaction, and the reaction that we're doing is going to be the Penguin. That's right, we're going to get right into the eight-part miniseries. Guys, before we get into that, make sure you guys like and subscribe. That's how you help support the channel. If you want to watch the full version of this, you can go to our Patreon or become a channel member. You can watch the full uh, watch-along version, but you will need a copy for yourself. So you can join us on HBO Max and watch along with us and hear the entire uh, all the commentary, all the uncensored fun. So you join AD and myself on that. And if you like any of the merch options, any of the shirts that we wear, check out our merch store. Links are in the description. Myself and Blackout AD, here we go. <laughs> I didn't see the recap thing. I fumbled the bag, Patreon. Patrons are pissed at you now. Hey. Hi. Uh oh. I know. I know. Fucking perfectly fine now. Uh, I know. Look at this guy. He might be the most awesome. interesting okay, character. To me. Dios te bendiga. Como te fue el día? Dios te bendiga, mi amor. Just remember, it's called arroz borracho, not esposo borracho. That's how you do when you make that rice. You gotta drink that beer. Oh, this gotta be before. Oh, yeah, yeah. From, of, you know, I'm um, really be paying you extra. Manny pays me well enough. Biggest right. He's taking advantage of you, Bucky. Don't you want a better life than this? Is that ambition? City Hall setting on fireworks. Oh, I know his cousin pushes drugs. Okay, so? Hey, yo. Hey, yo, squid. Everybody likes a squid character. We all Victor. Kind of looks like Effie and Diana mixed together. Yeah, kind of. Like but is this, you're saying this is before he yeah, met the penguin? I think so. I think this is before if you were out there, the Riddler had. Because remember, where he's from is like fucked up right now because <laughs> oh, of the Riddler. I like mm. it here. She's wild. Man's got game. Oh, it's just That's not fireworks. Oh, pop out. God, they're everywhere. Oh! oh. That's a wow. good tie-in. That's a great tie-in from the movie. Oh, oh there's God. the water. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my God. Damn. So his, he's got bigger significance. Nice tonight, Vic. Sophia, is that like partners now? Temporarily. Man, Falcons will take care of it for us. But by then... I'll be running the whole damn trade. All these fucks are related. 60 years ago, two Sicilian brothers jizzed all over the toe of that boot. Now I got three dozen false holes <laughs> breathing down my neck. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a great visual. I need your head in the game. You're driving me and Sophia tonight. You never discuss your salary. This is a discussion I had to have with you. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We start we'll start one a week. Huh? One thousand. From now on, you want something, you ask for it. I want two thousand. <laughs> what I'm talking about. But no. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. She is the angry. Don't believe everything you read in the papers. Where's Oz? He's uh he's just he's getting dressed. Like her surveying the whole room. <laughs> So where does find you? On one of his cars. I mean, I worked on his car. <laughs> Hired me as his driver. Then why can't you work a lighter? You know, Oz used to be my driver. Did he tell you that? No. Oh, we didn't know that. The story he told last week what about that he was driving the. Interesting. He got the job. Yep. Yeah. Just us. Sorry, Victor. It's going to be a long night. You're driving just like old times shit got him bitch boy get your fucking shine box <laughs> you doing this stupid i'll sense it <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely that was off the top <laughs> yeah grandma Victor? hi where have you been it's called his girlfriend but you know what i like i i i all joking aside 
how he plays the character so well that you can always a gentleman he, he's like so meek and like so like scared well, or pretends he's scared when yeah. she shows up told you everything. he's just well, fucking exactly he's a great a guy, you know? marco he just told me he had big plans and he needed my help with distro that's good miss Falcon. Move from arkham oh shit I thought this was all al's plan it could be the scarecrow. It could be any of those fucking guys with the hallucinogens and all that shit. That's what I was gonna say. Trey Bloom, yeah. Our chemist. Scarecrow. You can buy shrooms in any dorm room who got them. <laughs> you have a very limited imagination. It's not the mushrooms yeah. that we're using. The Basidio spores creates a potent euphoric stimulant. So it's a party drug. So I think the doctor, her therapist, I think it's the same name as Scarecrow. Find me a distributor and we'll paint the town red. Hey. Hi. I'm sorry that I didn't call you. I'm just you glad you're safe. I'm doing Yamaha. Well, I'm with you. Yamaha. He disappeared around the same time you did. I thought maybe... Uh, those aren't Modelos, those are Medinas. You look good. I'm leaving, Victor. Don't. I'm going to California. Your, your your life is here. I live in Gotham, the greatest city in the world. Our families are dead. This is what you want, right? Looks pretty shitty to me, though. <laughs> yeah. You, Tacky. You could come with me. Oh, fuck. We could start over. I'm not sure that he let me go. Who, your boss? They don't, they don't take two-week notices. <laughs> He's like a gangster. Oh, don't tell her. Likes having me around, and I've seen stuff. If I left, I don't know. Ain't too much. Do. Then, way too much. I mean, nothing good can come from working for a guy like that. He he's on his way back, so you you gotta go. Here, you can get me a ticket. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna... You broke my heart, Victor. You broke my heart, and I have to do this to you. I'll text you. Okay. This this episode went from feeling really good to uh Where you been? What's with all the muscle? We all gotta lay low until shit dies down. Luca. He's a family now. When he tells you to go to Italy, get on a fucking plane. They're really hammering this point. She's gonna have to kill one of these motherfuckers. Ace. Yeah. I think that's gonna be her her, her boiling point. Remember he's sleeping with oh, a wife. A spoiled bride who got what she deserved. Oh. Okay. He might die right now, actually. Yeah. I appreciate this. I just need some time to get a few things. I really like this car, but I hate that he just... It makes it better that the kid's driving it now. Chinatown, huh? Little hospitality gift. My pal Link Tsai. Try a deputy. He runs the clubs. Why are we wasting our time with the deputy? She wants to go straight to the head. Oh. I gotta, I gotta be careful. I told you not to show your face yet till you have my money, Oz. You think I'd come here empty-handed? I mean, come on, Link. We both know that if I ever truly left you hanging, there'd be a ball between my eyes. We've never met, but I know who you are. Good for you. This is why we're here. Bliss. You know I'm not a rat, right? You know I never... <laughs> don't, don't start with that. Anything. Definitely don't start with that. You kill me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and he's got that bag. Detective Gordon? Step out of the car, son. Is this your car? My boss's car. Pretty flashy. He's gonna get his money taken. Could your agent be carrying around? What you talking about? I don't have any money. Guess not. Smart move. Gonna take over the Falcon family in the middle of a gang war. What are you reading books or something? Mm -hmm. no, we got support from within the family. Johnny BD. Luca Falcone's on the bus. He's backing you. He's backing me. He also knows that Bliss is a game changer. Uh huh, right. Because I was going to need proof. Yeah, what does he want? Like a letter of recommendation or something? A phone call would suffice. This is a, is a much Vitti. like funnier episode. It's, just, it's interesting. I'll have Vidi give the old man a ring. Assuming that you hold up your end, I'll get you a sit down with the dialogue. What aren't you telling me about Johnny V? Yeah, I'm locked into this episode. Yeah. You're right, though. It has a different tone. It's not... 
I feel like the first one was a little bit darker. <laughs> so then what? This last one kind of like yeah, right. So he, he gets he, the world a little bit, Bill. But this I one said, is like uh, I said, yeah, I more go, personal it, a little bit. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's a fun episode. And, yeah. uh, right. I'll do the uh, the the steak of oh, steak Just point freeze. to it, dude. Steak freeze. Hey, don't do that. The man was speaking. Let him finish. Freeze. Steak freeze. Steaks. Right away, sir. You backed him up, man. You know, you don't got to do that. Yeah, I know. You should do it. You got fight in you, Vic. Got to let it out. What your parents do? A home health aide. And he was a mechanic. Oh, okay. I don't think he ever got to eat in a lot of nice restaurants. That ain't fucking right. Like, the world ain't set up for the honest man to succeed. Mechanic's a good job. That should be the American dream right there. But that ain't the way the world works, Vic. America's a hustle. What's his name? Juan Ramon Aguilar. You raised a good son. What a, a fucking good episode. Your dad this is proud. great, man. It's cold time. Hi, Tina. I need a favor. It's gonna sting. That, that sequence is gonna is I think is gonna hurt us later, man. Oh shit! Congratulations on the nuptials. Get out. Don't forget your panties. One more about this. The look, I swear. And what, Johnny? What are you going to do? Your ghost will haunt me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Were you two working together now? Oscar's working for me. Fucking not. You want me to lie to the head of the triad? Nah, it doesn't have to be a lie. The card game or over drinks, I'll give you that. But people don't keep you around because they think you're smart. They might not trust them, but they're idiots if they don't think he's around as entertainment because everybody oh, knows shit. that you're a goddamn joke. Oh, this oh. Funny, yo. shit. Don't kill him. You need him. All right, listen up. Tonight, we're bringing something new to the good people of Gotham. Vic here is going to be our bag man for the night. All right, get out there and make us a fuck ton of money. Shoulders back, take up space, okay? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Believe in you, kid. Got it? I can't tell who wants this more. Me or you. Was it worth it? What's that? What you did to me. That ain't what I'm saying. Dow is here to see me. Not my former driver. Ooh. Remember that. I want to be off that blue. <laughs> Everybody getting high up in this bitch. They're licking that shit. That's gotta be unsanitary. They can feel it. Yeah, no. You're touching all kinds of shit in the club. The dilo. Raised the price twice already. Hasn't affected sales. There's certainly a lot of potential for your plan, Miss Falcone. The risk here is too great. How can I trust you? I know where you've been. A madman flooded our streets. People lost their homes. It's gone. The show's starting. PTSD. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. I mean, he's thinking about his girl. Jeez. How come Roxy? Oh, did you come from the drug? Oh, yeah, because she kissed him. Yo, that really is the scarecrow. If that's the drug, that's the scarecrow shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or again, it's just hallucin like hallucinating and shit. That's why they. She's talking about psych Arkham. psychological. They gave it to us at Arkham. Look at that. Any pain that we had just floated away. It's a very powerful drug. Whoever controls it will control the future of the drug trade in Gotham. I like that there's like that dynamic when he started to, when I started talking earlier. So she kind of like gave that side look in the earlier when she said this, this is my thing. He kind of like did the same look. He's seen what we have. Make the deal or don't. There he is. I'm looking for your kid. Dad, what was sweet. But yo, you're the bag man. You held your own tonight. I'm proud of you, Vic. I'm proud of you. Give it to me. Oh, I see. Now, goddammit. You're going somewhere. Mm. With this fucking close, 
And you want to bail for what? A piece of ass? He's his kid. It's everything, all right? It's everything. I do everything that you asked me to do. Boy, you're too good for this life. Huh? You want to go? What are you waiting for? Fucking go. Do you think I'm holding you hostage or something? Hey, hey, hey. This is what it feels like. Uh, no. This, hurt, this is hurting Oz, man. That's what? A loser. I don't. A goddamn nobody. I gave you clothes, money, a place to crash. You got all the opportunity in the world right fucking here. This is all you feel. You chose to stay. How about oh. you ask yourself why? You stayed. Because you want something better. You want more than your father ever had. Oh. Oof. My dad would be ashamed. Damn. Give out awards for dying in the project. Bro, this fuck, fuck you. Fuck me! This, fuck this the goddamn world! Amazing. Don't give a shit about you! Or your family! You think you're nothing. You are nothing until the day you die. I told you were smart. So go. Get the fuck out of here. Hmm. You gonna take the car? You got some moxie. Now you fucking dead to me, you kid. I heard that, him. That, was, right that hurt, yeah. That hurt him big time. Even Big knows he cares about him. What a bitch though. She got on the bus. What if he died? <laughs> she just right, exactly. You wanna text him back? I think he just wanted to see her see her off. This is the choice. And see, this is he made the choice now. The genius is I don't know if he's playing him or if this is like he knew he was gonna come back. You know what I mean? Nah, he didn't know he was gonna come back. I think that really hurt him. I think it did, yeah. You should celebrate. I'm sure that your manager's fine without me. Jesus Christ, fine. I fucked you over. You ratted me out. I ain't no rat. And I'm not the hangman. I'm not even a made man. I still made out like a goddamn bandit. And you know what? It was worth it. Guy like me. Getting all that? That don't mean nothing to you, maybe, but it does to me. Oh, I can't wait so, to yeah. talk about this episode. Yeah. I don't regret what I got. Most honest thing he said to her fucking sorry for everything that's happened to you you meant something to me still do oh my god what the fuck is this i don't know where to go from here Victim. i don't know how to trust you you don't but still gotta keep showing you how Ooh, the fuck? don't move don't fucking move us you think he can pay us come in come in with the clutch let's go Come on, Victor, prove your life, kid. Come in, blasting. Let's go. I knew it. Victor! You just caught a Fuck body. Gotta fucking go now! Well, what about Sophia? Fuck! Leave her! Leave her, dude. Don't fucking no, leave no, her. No, no, no. Don't leave her. Just stop. <laughs> I knew you'd come back. I fucking knew it. That was incredible, kid. Jesus, we're in it now, Vic. We're in it now. Jeez. Oh, my God. The music choice in this episode. Yeah, this episode was... Who wrote this episode, man? Oh, my God. Man, I was... We made... I saw you locked in. I saw you locked in this episode, man. This is fucking... He was like speaking to you on a couple of my. I, I saw it. I saw it. You're speaking to me on that a couple of my. This this fucking episode was amazing. It's... Oh, I, I I honestly I forgot we were we still going. <laughs> no, yeah, this episode was fucking amazing. Um, this episode really felt more personal. In a lot yeah. of aspects, I I like the dynamic. And again, this is the episode that we find out that he used to drive for her, and the story that he told Vic was her. And when he yep. said she, he he was like he died, he he just said that because you, you remember he was kind of hesitant when he said it. So he yeah, was like you could tell he's lying. Like something happened. So um, right. when you find out that you know they had that past relationship, and even at the end when he's like I. Like, you know, I, I'm sorry. He's like, you mean something. He's like, you used to mean something to me. You still do. And he starts tearing up and she starts tearing up. Oh, man. And the, the conversation with him and Vic 
actually multiple conversations with him and Vic. The, the whole, yeah. episode, I mean, Vic is really a, a highlight character. It, it was it, his character kind of could have got in the way, or or could have just been a lackey. You know what I mean? That just does what he says. But they give him a lot of fucking character. And the beginning, when you get to see what happened to his family and how they died, and how you know the tie back to Batman, man, yeah, yeah, they are. They are killing this show. Every yeah. episode is getting better. Yeah, I, I like we we're saying in the beginning the just the, just knowing the repercussions of the Riddler's actions, that was big. And the Victor's just not a random character. I think that was important because it seemed random at the beginning, right? Like you just plucked this kid off the street. Not that not that you know Penguin knows anything about him. I'm just saying, like now it makes sense why he sticks around. Why I mean, there's no, there's, he has nothing to go back to, yeah. and so it, that's a great that's a great like reveal. But I think the most important element is this relationship. This this because they both need each other, and that's what I was that's what I was alluding to. I think I said it just just because I had to say it in in the in the episode. Because I don't want to miss that point. It's going to hurt us later because they both need each other. And that was evident in the, like the, the way that he sees the Vic and the way that Vic sees, you know, him. And, and now that we know about the father and the father was not necessarily very approving of things and the way that he, you know, sort of lived his life. Penguin is now that father figure that, he always wanted, I think, and just just seeing the, like giving him the the you heard you. I think there was like four instances in the episode. You did good, kid. You got to ask for a kid. I I believe in you, kid. I think he said it. You know, yeah. he said through a couple different ways how uh, what he wanted to hear from his father. Well, I think fundamentally, right. It, it might not even be a father thing. It might just be like a role model thing. Like in my own personal mm -hmm. experiences, I always wanted like a, a mentor like somebody to like take me under the wing and kind of that's never happened so i've always had to like be that you know what i mean and now you can tell like why my personality is the way it is but in this aspect i think like even early on i like that they showed that vic was kind of like don't you want more for yourself because that's just innate in you that's something i feel like where i feel that when i think about like people i work with or something or i see people slacking i'm like don't you want fucking more like don't you want to be better don't you want more than just an average thing and the fact that victor had it in him and then you you go back to the first episode when they met he's like he's like i am ambitious you know what i mean like that that was like the spark of him having it but now you get right. to see that he's always had that in him and penguin is like nourishing that side of him and that's why you know i think you know he he might have he might have like wanted to leave but i think like on the way there, he probably was like, no, this is what I want. Like, he's right in there. Like, everything he's saying is right. Like, I think one one of the most powerful things is, like, you you think you're no good? You you think you, you're not meant for anything? He's like, well, congratulations. You already have that. He's like, you right. already know what it feels like. Like, why not try the, the other side? You know? And I, I, you're right. Like, there was a lot of parts where I was very much locked in. I Again, their, their relationship, the the... Colin Farrell, man, as the Penguin, like the delivery, the way he says things, even like the, he's like, if you do something wrong, I'll sense it. You know, like I could, you could tell that's like kind of like off the cuff, like one one liner that just, you know, a little funny, like nod. But when he's like delivering those speeches and even Sophia made the comments, like a uh, great speech or like motivating speech or something, because like you really feel it, like he really sells everything. And I think that's part of the character. You know, I like how like many people, and Sophia alluded to this like last last episode, but many people like think he's not a smart smart person, the penguin. And it's like, how do you not see that? Like, yeah, he's might he might not be trustworthy and he might be a, right, a snake, right. but he is a smart person and he's like outsmarting all these people. Now, what's interesting is now that Sophia knows that he's in with the other family, how that's gonna play out. This next episode does look like it's just gonna be about mostly Sophia's like kind of backstory, which I'm super intrigued. And that honestly, towards the end of this episode, I was like, I don't know what's gonna happen. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's great. 
No, I mean, it's, and again, take its time with the storytelling. You're flushing out characters. You le- you learned about the Penguin. Now you learned about Vic. Now you, you know, and and we we mentioned the, the, the writing in this one, and it was more comical or personal, um, very light in terms of how the banter was, but powerful moments in each of the scenes. What stood out to me was the commentary on, the penguin is always talking about how he came up. I think there was a great scene that was towards the end when he's like, "For a guy like me to have all of this," oh, yeah. but he was, but he was laying that out throughout the episode when he talked about his dad being a mechanic, he, and he never got to eat in a place like this, you know, stuff like that. So he was, and he's always been kind of saying stuff like that, like, you know, and I think one of the hardest hitting lines was the you know the world doesn't give doesn't give a fuck about you you know kid in the ghetto they don't care, they don't care about you and so you die here who cares nobody cares and then what you said you know you want to be a zero you want to amount to nothing you've already you already got it so like all of that leading up to then his his sort of reveal of i did what i had to do and got, i got what i wanted i got the club I got this and it may not mean anything to you, but it means everything to me. I've got, you know, a a person like me to get all of this. So like I see Vic, right. I see, I I see, uh, I see Vic there. I see, you know, him not having anything and getting everything he wants and then the penguin. Right. So it's just, I, I just find it to be just a, again, just phenomenal. No sloppy writing. in there. No, no. Everything is tight. Everything is tight. So I, I just, I, I, again, you were locked in. I was locked in. There was, I think, moments we didn't talk, but like both of us, you can, I, I looked over at you just for a second because I, I was like, man, I wonder how he's taking this because I, not that I thought it was you that he was talking to, but I'm like, there's stuff he's telling me, right? And then I looked over and he was, I was, and you were like, you you were like intent, like you were intense yeah. and you were watching. I'm like, yo, he's like, it's almost like it's talking to him too. And I'm like, shit this episode is fucking great like this uh, is just i mean there's it might have been say <laughs> i mean we talked about power on the big llama show sunday and p.m eastern every sunday we do our podcast but we talked about power and how you know two weeks ago was one of my favorite episodes this might have been one of my favorite episodes of television i've seen all year like this episode right here and and i said it earlier i was like this might be my favorite episode but i think you know, the first episode objectively might be better just overall because it was so captivating. It was great. The second episode was really good. But this one, to me, like you said, it, it there was a lot of, I mean, we're on the we're on the grind, right? So there's yeah. a lot of things that he was talking about that is resonating with, with just what, where I'm at right now. And, like, the way he's talking, the way he, you could tell he's thinking, like you said, like, he clearly cared about Sophia. And that's one aspect of, like, once we find out that he was the former driver, then you see a different dynamic. I guarantee yep. if you watch the first two episodes, their dynamic's a little off. You know, like, you could tell, like, she doesn't trust them, but she she kind of respects them. And, and, like, it kind of felt like a love interest before. It's like, did they fuck before? Or, like, something was there, yeah. right? But now that, you, now you know what it was. He's the reason she got locked up in Arkham. And now you there's, like, a different dynamic. And, and you could tell he cared about her, but you could tell... He's not good. He's going to do whatever he has to. He's going to turn on whoever he has to. And that brings me to my next point. Do you think he's going to kill Vic? Because that's what it feels like it's leaning towards. I, and I, I don't want it to. Yeah. I, well, I don't, I don't know if he's going to, but I think, I think everything is leading up to, he's gonna, he's got to, he's going to do whatever he has to do to get what he wants. And I think, it might be a betrayal. I don't know if necessarily Vic he kills Vic or he's going to, you know, but I think it's a betrayal that maybe leads to that. No, but I don't know. he has to be the one that kills him or it's not going to be as impactful. Because right, you see right. how he talks. And even after Vic, you know, crashes into the car, I'm kind of mad they left Sophia because I want, you know, whatever. But yeah. uh, even after Vic crashes into the car, he's like, I knew you'll fucking come back. And you said it earlier. It's like, do you think he thinks... I think at the moment he was like, "Nah, this kid fucking left," and it, and it hurt him because again, like you said, yeah, he it, that's that he was talking to his former self. He was feeling everything he was saying because that's what he's felt before. 
and he's like, kid, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, it's like me trying to bring Gabe, you know what I mean? He's like, kid, I'm trying to fucking help you, you know? Right. It's like, right. It's like I, I'm trying to look out for you the best way I can. So I think he was like, damn, this kid left. But in in it, deep down, he's like, this kid, this kid's got heart. He want, he wants to be here. He'll be back, you know? So I like, I, I don't know, man. The dynamic is crazy. It, it, to me, it does feel like there's going to be something there. I really, right. if we do get another season, I hope Vic at least makes it to then. I, you know, but if we don't get another season, then I'll be okay with him dying. But if we have a season two and Vic's dead, I'll I'll be kind of hurt because he is kind of like the most relatable character in my eyes, you know. So yeah, well, I I, I do I do know uh, Colin Colin Farrell was 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 interviewed, and he said something that the entire the entire crew something is for the ending of the show. I, I saw the interview and he says something something so disturbing happens in ep, in the final episode that even the crew was like like disgusted with the whole thing not disgusted but like in in a way like you're like I can't believe this so that's like firmly planted in my brain and I'm like oh Jesus I hope that's not it which you you know the prediction but I mean he's gonna have it, for it to be as impactful as it. As this show, the way the writing yeah. the show is, they are, like I said, no sloppy writing in any episode. There hasn't been any drag. I I think they play with pace of of, you know, they slow it down where it's like a little bit more thought. Like what's gonna happen? They speed it mm -hmm. up where it's like a fast pace. Like they're on yeah. the go. They're very they're very tight in that writers' room. It seems like so for something like that to be like be that impactful. I think he does have to to kill Vic. Um, and when you think about how much he cares about Sophia and that scene, I think plays a pivotal point. Like we'll look back and be like, I mean, he said it right there. Like he's got to do what he has to do to get to where he wants to. And he's, yep. he's I mean, he, he was like, I care. He's like, I deeply cared about you. I still do. And tears in his eyes came. And so it's like, even though he knows he cares about it, he, he, he did what he did and he, he doesn't care. So, right. It, and and, uh, and the plan, the plan all along, he's he's already admitted the plan all along is to take the whole fucking thing over. Like let them eat each other, let them have, let them war it out. And then when every the dust settles, he takes over. So it's always been, and actually it it's foreshadowed, I think, in the first episode when the um when they're doing the montage of what happened after the the um the events, and you see him in the shadow, right? You see him with the silhouette. Yeah. You you hear the announcer go, and there is now a power vacuum. Who's going to fill that void? And it's his silhouette. So I think I think that's just the inevitable um, conclusion. Well, remember the that, penguin. Yeah, the penguin in the comic books is like the underground bomb, the mob right. boss. So, but the thing is, I see a lot of theories about people saying the penguin is going to die at the end of this, this series. I feel like a lot of theories. And I'm like, I don't see how they could do that with like the Batman story, unless they're just not gonna have a penguin anymore, you know, or somehow Vic becomes the new penguin. Like, I don't, I don't know, but yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a theory floating around, and I don't know. The, the the show can go so many ways. But but the la the last point I'll make, and then I'll let you wrap up uh, the episode if you want. No. The last point I'll make is is I think some of the things that we've talked about, which is this show is is really its own thing um it's like the sopranos it's like it's like it, it's like, i don't think it's like anything we've ever seen from a comic book perspective but it doesn't even have to be in that world for it to be a really really good show you know what i mean it, the fact that it has those elements keeps people interested keeps people you know coming into okay the batman but it's a great fucking show and i mean i mean and the characters elements great. in the comic books that doesn't right. get seen too much like the underground that's what makes like daredevil like the netflix daredevil series it was like that mcu feeling but ground level you know and i think that yep. that's what makes this a little different and again we keep i say it every week but like you don't have this doesn't have to be a batman thing this could have been its own show and it would have been just as fantastic like the batman elements are dope but it doesn't lean on that and that's what i think is awesome about the property as well it's like it doesn't need to lean on the batman so yeah, yeah man, and I, i'm fucking excited i think 
I think this episode, honestly, and again, I not knowing anything else that happens in the rest of the show, this episode is the one you send to the Emmy voters and you go, hey, if I can give give each of these guys an Emmy because there were strong performances throughout. And Colin you know, Farrell should get it for that. But um, was it Kristen? What was her name? Christina. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, there's just she's she's you're like I said the standout of the show but honestly the show the writing the um, the makeup the everything everything in the show is just really well done so again when a show has you locked in when a show is speaking to you when a show is like got you like invested like this yeah. you know you're watching something really special so uh, again I, I love the episode I thought it was really great I got one Go more ahead, thing. what Go what I like what I like about it though is that Every time we turn the episode on, it captivates you back. In, it like it like sucks you back into that world. Like it doesn't feel like I don't know. It, it's it's hard to explain. Like some shows probably take a little bit, then you're back into the world. But this is like immediately. Like all three episodes. Like oh yeah, like we're in this like this pseudo Batman world. Like this is this is dope. So hey man, yeah. check us out next week. Like, comment, subscribe. This guy hit seven k. Let's get him to eight k as fast as possible. AD, Big Llama, we're out this bitch. Peace. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, episode. I hope you guys come back for more. Remember, if you guys like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe. That's how you guys show some love to the channel. Again, if you want to watch full-length versions of the reaction, go to Patreon or become a channel member. And thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Thank you for showing it love. And we're going to see you guys next time. On behalf of myself and Blackout AD, thank you guys. Remember, be kind, rewind. It's movie night, and we're going to see you guys on the next one. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! First off, I don't care what you people say, never follow.